In this lecture, we are going to learn how to set state based on the previous state value. And also, we will discuss the difference between this example and the previous example we did. So here in this lecture, we are going to demonstrate how to increment, decrement, and even reset the counter. So let's quickly do that. Within the components directory, we are going to create a new component called counter2.js. Generate the functional component. So let's quickly import the use state hook. It is a function. We have to invoke it and then take in the initial state as an argument. And in this case, the initial state is going to be zero as usual. And this returns an array of two entries. Right, so I'm going to do const an array here. We're going to have count. And then we have the setter function to update the initial state. Assign it like this. Simplified. All right. So having done that, let's quickly move on to the JSS. Let's use the h1 tag to display the count. Having done this, we have to implement the board hints. First, we are going to have here increment. Let's duplicate it three times. Here we are going to have decrement. And here we are going to have reset. Just like this. Let's specify the on click. Taking an arrow function, we are going to invoke the set count. And then pass in the initial count plus the new value. Same thing here. So I'm just going to copy, come here, paste. So the difference is that this is going to be subtraction. For the reset, we have to declare a variable const initial count equal zero. So on click of this button, we want to reset the count. All right, so I'm going to do something like this right now. Let's just wrap it up in a div. Move it in. Let's quickly format the code. Perfect. See, whenever you format the code, you are going to get proper indentation. And here, let's specify the on click. So we have to set count to initial count. Okay, so having done this, open up the app, and here we have to import counter2 from component slash counter2. And we have to render it right here. Save the application. Let's place a comment on the count, which is the previous example. Check it out on the browser. Can you see? So let's give it a try by clicking the increment button. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Decrement, increment, increment, decrement, reset. Everything is working perfectly fine as expected. So the intention of this lecture is to update the state based on the previous state value. So go back to counter two. We are going to demonstrate this example with the increment button. And after that, you can go ahead to implement it on the rest of the buttons. So on click of this button, we are going to call a function increment. And this function would be defined at the top. We're going to have const increment, set it to our function. And then right here, we're going to set count to count plus one. Save on the browser and everything still works perfectly fine as expected. All right. So let's go straight to what the problem is now. So let's assume within this function, we want to increment count by two. So it is easier to do something like this. We just have to duplicate this and then have it like this. When you save on the browser, refresh, click on the increment button. Can you see? 
everything is incrementing by 1. But look, we were expecting this application to be incremented by 2. But now on the browser, we have it incremented by 1. It seems it's not working out fine. So that is one of the drawbacks when using Cans plus 1 in React.js. So let me explain it well enough. When you look at this closely, you will realize that we are updating the same state multiple times. As a result, React will aggregate all of this state into a single batch and execute them once. So even if we do this million times, let me show you like this, save, this also will be incremented by one. So React will aggregate all of this state into a single batch and execute them once. So you may not see the effect of what you did over here. Because this is even supposed to be incremented by, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is supposed to be incremented by 6. But look, it increments by 1. So this is the drawback of using count plus 1 in React. And now the question is, why do React update state in badges? Don't worry. I will give you the answer to this question towards the ending of this lecture. So let's quickly solve this problem. To resolve this issue, we have to pass an anonymous function that has access to the previous state value. And now the syntax will look different. Set count. So right within this function, we are going to do previous count, set it to our function. And then we are going to have here previous count plus one. Okay. Highlight, duplicate it. So when you do this and check out the browser, reload, hit the increment button and you see it is incremented by two. It's as simple as that. Do you see that? Now the application is working as expected. Trust me. It is indeed working as expected. So here we passed a function that has access to the previous state value and we incremented it by one. So we can as well increment it by five. Let me show you. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Save. On the browser, we have to reload. Increment by five. It's as simple as that. Okay, so take for example, you want to increment all of these stuffs by 10. So you are going to have a repetition of code like this. I don't like that. So let's perform uh, some little iteration over here. Now I'm going to do for let i equal 0, i is less than 2, and then i plus plus, like this. So here we're going to have the set count function. So right within, we are going to gain access to the previous state value. And then the previous state value plus one. Save. On the browser, refresh. Hit on the increment. Can you see? It is incremented by two. When you come here, you do five. Save. On the browser, refresh. It is incremented by five. So this brings us back to the question, why do React update state in badges? Let me give you an answer. The reason why React update state in badges is simply because in React.js, whenever the state get updated, the component will re-render. So let's imagine we have this updated thousand times. It simply means our component is going to re-render thousand times. And that would deeply affect the performance of the application. So React gave it a thought and decided to update their state in badges. So it is going to aggregate all of those occurrences and execute them once. Okay, so I understand that this lecture is quite tricky, but I highly suggest you play the video over and over again to get it stick to your memory. This is all for now. See you in the next lecture. Stay focused and always take care.